So far in these regular expressions course, we have seen how to create regular expressions. We've also gotten to understand how regular expressions works behind the hood using regex engines. But all we have seen so far are simple regular expression examples. So in this lesson and the lessons after this, we're going to look at advanced or complex patterns that you can create in regular expressions. And for this lesson, we're going to look at character classes. What is a character class? A character class in regex is also called a character set, and this allows you to specify a set of characters for which the pattern can match one of those characters that apply to a string. Now don't worry if this doesn't make any sense, we're going to look at examples. You create character classes using square bracket. So you have the opening square bracket and then you specify the different characters for which one of them could match a string and then you have the closing square bracket. So first off, let's look at the character class for letters. For example, let's say you want to match an A or an E before PPLE in a string. You can use this pattern open square bracket A E close square bracket followed by P P L E. In this pattern, you have the character class which contains A and E. Then after the character class, you have P P L E. I apply the G flag so we can get all the matches in a string. Now let's say we have a string such as is it spelled Apple or Apple. And now, like I said, for the pattern, we have the open square brackets, A, E, close square brackets, P, P, L, E. And I'm going to put the G flag. Now for this pattern, the regex engine looks for an A or an E. It's going to start looking from here. It's looking, it's looking, it's looking. And then it finds an A, which is from our character class. Then it's now going to check if A is followed by P, P, L, E. And in this case, A is followed by P, P, L, E. That is why it is matched. Because we have the G flag, it's going to to continue searching so it will keep searching for an a or an e remember in our character class we have a e which means a or e and then it will keep searching and then it comes here and it finds an e and then it's going to check is this e followed by p p l e and in this case yes it is and that is why it is also matched and then the regex engine comes to the end of the string so it stops searching so the character class that we have in this pattern means a or e followed by p p l e the character class is made up of two characters a and E. Now one thing you should note is that this regular expression would not match A E P P L E. Let's say I change A P P L E to A E P P L E. You can see that A is not matched here. That is because the character class doesn't mean A followed by E. It means A or E. And that is why you can see that everything is not matched here. So I'm going to remove the E back. I can see Apple is matched and Apple is matched. You can also use character classes for digits. For example, you can have a pattern which has a character class 246 and then you have hyphen and then people. Again, the G flag. So this character class in this pattern specifies 2 or 4 or 6. In the pattern, this means 2 or 4 or 6 followed by hyphen people. Now let's say we have a string like he says there are 4 hyphen people, 6 hyphen people and 46 people. And then for the pattern, remember 246 hyphen P O E P E O, sorry, P L E. Now you can see four hyphen people is matched because in our character class we have four. Four is one of the items or one of the characters in that class. And then we have hyphen and then people. So this is matched. Six hyphen people is matched. Now you can see that 46 hyphen people is not matched. Only the six hyphen people part is matched here. That is because, like I said, in the character class, it is not 24 or 46 or 246. It is 2 or 4 or 6 followed by hyphen followed by people. And that is why this is the only part of the string that is matched. So character classes specifies a this or that, not a this followed by that. You can also use character classes for symbols. For example, you can have a pattern and you have a character class like ampersand and hyphen and then after the character class you have S. So this character class in the pattern specifies the ampersand or hyphen symbol followed by the letter S. So let's say we have a string like he used five ampersands, six percentages and seven hyphens like this. And then for a pattern, remember ampersand, hyphen, I have the closing square bracket which closes the character class and then I have S. You can see here that ampersand S is matched, hyphen S is matched because we have ampersand and hyphen in the character class but percentage S is not matched. If I come to this character class now, maybe I put 
put the percentage here you can see our character class now has ampersand or percentage or hyphen and that's why we have ampersand as matched percentage as matched and hyphen as matched another thing with character classes is that you can also specify a range let's say we want to match bing sing ring king and ping you can use a character set in a regex pattern like this you have your character class made up of opening and closing square brackets and then you have b s r k p close the character class and you have i n g this would match the bing sing ring king and bing but what if you want to match all four letter words that end in i n g then your character class would look like this you have the opening square brackets and then you have a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q p q p Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I still know my alphabet. So you have the letter A to Z, then you now have I N G after the character class. Now, while this works, there is a way to improve it. There is a way to make it shorter and a way to make it more concise. And this is where ranges comes in. So with a range, instead of typing A, B, C, D, E, F all the way to Z, you can simply specify a range of A to Z like this. You have your opening square bracket and then you have A and then you have the hyphen and then you have z this doesn't mean a hyphen z this means a to z and then after the character class you now have ing so this range in the character class would match any word that starts with a letter between a to z followed by ing let's try it out let's say we have a string like he is a king he likes to sing he rings the bell he pings the phone he uses bing oh what a thing he doesn't know the word link i came up with this sentence by the way do you feel my rhymes you feel it <laughs> and then for the pattern we have open square brackets for our character class and then we have a to z close the character class and then we have ing you can now see that k ing is matched because k is part of our range k is between a and z s ing is also a match because s is in our range and you can see every letter followed by ing here is a match and also you don't have to use full ranges like a to z you can use a to g i can see only bing is matched because b is between the range a to g you can also use r to z and you can see only s and r is a match because they are between r to z so you don't have to use full ranges you can also use partial ranges and you can combine multiple partial ranges together so here we can say a to c r to z so between a and c we have b and that is why bing is matched between r to z we have s and r and that's why these two are matched k is not matched because k is not between a and c and it is not between r and z and you can also apply ranges to uppercase letters so we've been looking at lowercase letters but we can also have something like a to capital z like this and you can see none of them are matched here but let's say i change this r to capital r you can now see that it is matched but instead of doing lowercase or uppercase i can just use the case insensitive flag which is going to turn off case restriction and you can see even though i'm using capital a to z here it doesn't worry about the case as long as it is the same letter you can see all of these are matched and if i change this back to small a to z you can see even this capital r is matched so if you remember from flags the case insensitive flag turns off that case restriction so it doesn't matter the cases in your pattern as long as it is the same character it is going to match in your string ranges are not only for letters you can also apply ranges to digits for example you can have 0 to 9 which matches all digits between 0 to 9 you can also use partial ranges like 2 to 4 five four to six as many as you want unlike letters and digits symbols do not have ranges and the reason for that is because you don't have a beginning symbol and an ending symbol for letters you have a the beginning z the last for number you have zero beginning nine the last but for symbols you don't have a beginning and last so that is why you don't have ranges for symbols so if you want to use symbols in your ranges you have to specify them directly as we saw previously where we use ampersand hyphen and all of that now your character classes you can mix digits and letters for example you can have a to z 0 to 9 or you can also mix symbols so you can have a to z 0 to 9 ampersand hyphen followed by ing don't forget this character class would match any letter between a to z or emphasis on or any number between 0 and 9 or the ampersand symbol or the hyphen symbol followed by ing character classes are 
this or this or this or this or this it is not this followed by this followed by this followed by this it's important to keep that in mind because with regular expressions character classes are very common and very popular so it's important to understand it's a this or that not a this followed by that now in character class we also have something called negated character class but we are going to look at that in the next lesson so let me know in the comment section if this lesson was simple enough if you now understand what character classes are or if there is something that you're still confused about when it comes to character classes For the first assignment, take a look at this regular expression on the screen. This regular expression is filled with character classes. Can you interpret what this means? Pause this video and try to interpret it before I share the answer. Okay, so in this regular expression, I have a space and then I have a character class. In that character class, I have A, E, I, O, U, which are vowels. And then I have another character class, A to Z, another one, A to Z, another one, A to Z, another one, A to Z, and then I have another space. So what this regular expression means is that a space followed by A or E or I or O or U, followed by any character between A to Z, followed by any character between A to Z, followed by any character between A to Z, followed by any character character between a to z followed by a space if we try this on the rejects 101 website you can see this is the pattern here we have a string like i have five users in my class i'm aware that they love my teaching they can also bring their friends as you can see here this is a match because we have a space and then we have u u is from a e i o u then we have s s is from a to z we have e e is from a to z we have r r is from the third a to z character class we have s s is from from the fourth a to z character class and then we have another space you can see the same match here we have a space then we have a from a e i o u we have w from a to z a from a to z aru from a to z e from a to z and the last space so you can think of this pattern as a space followed by five letter words which begins with a vowel followed by another space for the second assignment take a look at this regular expression on the screen now i mentioned earlier in this course that regular expression can be used for finding substrings in a string and they can also be used for validating strings so let's say we want to validate a username string that a user enters can you interpret how this regular expression defines the criteria for the username pause this video again and try to interpret this before I share the answer Okay, so this is a regular expression for validating usernames. And here we have a bunch of character classes. We have like eight character classes here. The first character class is A to Z. The second character class is A to Z, 0 to 9 underscore. The third character class is A to Z, 0 to 9 underscore. And that is how the remaining character classes are. So what this means is that a character between A to Z followed by a character between A to Z or 0 to 9 or underscore followed by a character between A to Z or 0 to 9 or underscore and the same thing happens for the remaining character classes. The first character class is any character between A and Z. The remaining character classes are any character between A to Z, 0 to 9 and underscore. Now if we were to use this regular expression to validate usernames, that means it's going to validate a username like decode as valid because decode is 8 characters, D is between A to Z, E is between A to Z, 0 to 9 underscore and so it is for the remaining characters. This pattern would also see a username like user1 2 3 4 as valid because u is between a to z s is between a to z 0 to 9 underscore and then 1 2 3 4 those are also characters between 0 to 9 this regular expression would also consider a username like john underscore do as valid because the underscore is also part of the character class but when you look at usernames like 6 e e e c o d e or 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 dollar sign or d e e e c o d e s these are not valid for the case of 6 e e e c o d e the first character class we have says a to z but in 6 e e e c o d e 6 is not between a to z if you look at the second invalid username we have one at the beginning and our character class says the first character must be between a to z and if you look at the third invalid username we have nine characters but in our regular expression we only expect eight characters so this is an example of how you can define a requirement for username using regular expressions which contain 
Lane's character classes. I hope these assignments were helpful and they help you to understand regular expressions more. I know that these assignments look a bit like they are not real world examples, but do not worry as we continue to learn about more features in regular expressions, we'll be able to see more real world examples or real world applications of regular expressions.